Hey everybody, uh, welcome to week three, the weekly Qigong episodes. Today we're going to do a light shoulder routine. This is just going to mobilize the shoulders, um, loosen up the chest and the upper back. Um, this is a great go-to for uh, warm-up if you're working chest and arms, um, or if you just want a good shoulder mobility for the morning. For me, my shoulders get kind of tight. Um, just doing calisthenics and stuff so I really like these exercises um, to loosen up the shoulders and just keep the blood flow um, going in that area um, and it's just a great routine to do in the morning too if you have any kind of shoulder pain so um, let's get right to it we'll start off in the Wuji posture which is your starting posture hands are gonna come out or I'm sorry legs are gonna come out weight is on the balls of the feet shoulders relaxed Remember your tailbone slightly tucked. Your head is going to be up as if it's suspended from a thread. So you have these opposing forces being worked here. Chin slightly tucked. Shoulders relaxed. Chest is soft. Breathing is in the lower abdomen. It's going to take a minute to center our breathing. Tongue on the roof of the mouth. Teeth are closed. In through the nose and out through the nose. Nice and relaxed. We don't want to force our breathing. We don't want to hold any excessive muscular tension. We want to be in a state of song, which is this soft, supple, relaxed state. Not overly tense, not overly slack. And our breathing is unimpeded. So for the first exercise, this is weight two presents the pestle. Hands are going to come up, the center of the chest. Just going to breathe in. You're going to turn the fingers towards the center of your chest as your hands push together. And then relax. It's very gentle. Don't force the movement. Breathe in. Hands are going to turn. And then turn out. Gonna breathe in. Fingers turn towards the chest. Breathe out. They go back vertical. Inhale. Exhale. Just a couple of reps of this movement. It stretches the flexors and the wrist. Opens up the hands as well. Remember, everything's connected. If your shoulders are tight, chances are the hands and your arms probably stand to be loosened up a little as well. All right, two more. Good. Just come down, relax. Keep deep in and out breaths. Next movement is drawing the bow to shoot the buzzard. The hands are going to come up, center of the chest. Your spine is going to bow slightly. And then you're going to extend one hand as you draw the other hand back. And you're going to turn to one side, just like you're drawing a bow. And there's a straight line going right across your chest, um, across the shoulders, across the elbow, all the way to the opposite hand. And you're going to kind of draw the shoulder blades together as you do this, very gently, not overly so. Keep everything in a straight line and relax. Hands come up. Bow your back like so, very gently. Remember, we, don't, we want to avoid excessive muscular tension. Draw back, hold for a second, and relax. The other side, go back, draw, relax. Try to keep the breathing natural, free, unrestricted. Opening everything up. 
opening the lungs, opening the back and the spine, the shoulders. The goal is to just mobilize everything here. Stay upright. We'll do one more each side. Next one is a little more dynamic. Just gonna let the arms swing. And try to put the weight into the legs. Sink the body weight a little bit. <clears throat> and as the hands swing, they're gonna come up so that the ridge of the hand is hitting the trap. The back of the hand is hitting on the lower back. Same thing on the other side. And just keep this natural, free unrestricted movement, unrestricted breathing. Just loosen up the shoulders, the back, even the waist. Great warm up, great qigong exercise here. A couple of reps of this. Breathe in, and out. Shake it out a little. We're going to go into the next exercise. This is from the Shingi Nego. Hands are going to start <clears throat> at the bottom. They're going to come up to the left. You're going to lead with the palms as you come up and down. So they're going to come to the side. They're going to come up. You're going to breathe in. And then exhale when you get to the top of the movement. Do a couple of reps on each side. Breathe in as you come up. Exhale as you come down. And one more on this side. And we switch directions. Breathing in as we come up. And exhaling as we come down. Exhale as you come down. This exercise is good for the front of the shoulders. Help uniting the original chi. And do one more. Breathe in. And out. Good. Check your alignments again. Straight spine. Tailbone sunk. The last exercise is really good shoulder exercise, one of my favorites. <clears throat> the hands are going to come up <clears throat> and they're going to open. And as they open, <clears throat> you should still be able to see your fingertips and your peripheral vision. If you can't, you've gone too far. So keep them open. The hands are going to turn in so that your ears are positioned between your thumb and forefinger. And then you're going to press upward, extend just to the top of the movement, and then come back down. As you get to about head level, chest level, the hands are gonna turn over and press down. And then from there, they're gonna come up again. Come up to chest height, open to your peripheral vision. Hands are gonna turn like you're supporting a large weight overhead, you're gonna press. When you get to the top and they start to come down, hands are gonna turn over at about head level and start to press down like you're pushing a beach ball under the water. That's the metaphor. Breathe in. 
just let your breathing kind of be free and un unrestricted on this exercise. You're going to breathe in and out a couple of times. It's a long movement. But just keep it natural, keep it free and unrestricted. Do a couple of these. vision, come in towards the head, press like you're pressing a weight overhead, you get to the top, you start to relax and come down, hands turn over and press very gently, no excessive muscular tension, no forced breathing, just check your shoulders if they, if they feel tight, just try to consciously relax them, keep them nice and soft and supple. One more. Hands come up. Open. Come in. Press overhead. And as they relax and come down, downward press. And relax. Good. The last exercise, we're just going to do a shoulder rotation in both directions, one hand going forward, one hand going backwards. The way we train this, so the hands come up to the center, or I'm sorry, to the top, in the center. This is first position. Hand's gonna turn over, so you palm down. This is your second position. You're gonna turn to face each other. This is the third position, and then fourth position. They're gonna come up, both palm down on the other side. Now we're back to our first position. And that's how we're gonna kinda think of it as we do it, so. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then from one, it's the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So in a smooth movement, we're going to go back to the other side. One, two, three, four. The arms just gently rotate in opposite directions. We'll do this a couple of times. Just try to keep the movement as free and unrestrained as you can. Breathing naturally. a couple more and then stop at the top of the movement. Now we're going to switch directions. One hand going forward, one hand going backwards. And a couple more. And last one, stop at the top just come down. Good. So now we would just finish the hands coming up, holding our Zanzhuang posture, the post holding. You just stand in this posture for five to ten minutes, holding your alignments, making sure your tailbone is slightly tucked, weights on the balls of the feet, knees are slightly bent, spine is straight. There's this force extending through the spine up to the top of the head. Shoulders are relaxed, chest is soft, and the breathing is in the dante on the lower part of the abdomen. Hands are about six inches or so in front of the chest. Centers of the palms are in front of the centers of the shoulder. And I'm just going to breathe in and out. And try to imagine this idea of song, this soft, supple, relaxed energy almost like your arms, your legs being pumped full of air or water, but there's no excessive muscular tension holding them. They're nice and relaxed. Take a few deep in and out breaths. If you want to, you could hold this posture for 10 minutes, 30 minutes, 
And again, some people hold it for up to an hour. It's a great exercise just on its own, holding your body in perfect alignment and good structure. It's just like training the body to be nice and relaxed, soft and supple. So to finish, feet come together, hands come up, breathe in, and breathe out as they come down. It's just a good way to close your Qigong uh, exercise. So um, that's it for today. Just wanted to do a uh, just a good uh, shoulder routine, good shoulder workout, mobilize the shoulders, relax the shoulders. Um, definitely get tight on a lot of people if you work at a desk, do any kind of manual labor or any kind of fitness practice. Um, the shoulders always need to be mobilized and as you get older it's one of the first things to go is your mobility people reach behind themselves and they can't reach something their back gets tight um so we want to keep our shoulders nice and loose and limber um and this is a great routine to do it so um thanks for watching and uh stay tuned next week for more chico